im Zusammenhang mit einer Technik, die Jim Lewis entdeckt hat oder erforscht und dargestellt hat. In conjunction with the technique Jim Lewis discovered or experimented with and presented. Und dann schauen, welche Planeten an welche Erdachsen, an welche Hauptachsen zu stehen kommen. One can let the planets orbit run across the Earth, then we see which planets are positioned on which main Earth axis. Here it is very interesting that we see that on the west coast San Francisco and California, that three lines pass here and that two lines cross over an extended period along the shore area. Es ist auch interessant, dass es genau in Washington eine Kreuzung gibt von zwei. It is also interesting that there is a crossing from two of those lines exactly in Washington. It was a topic in this symposium that the CIA was also interested in and also interested in this drug. Of course, with totally different intentions than the idea and intention of Dr. Hofmann. Wenn wir schauen, finden wir auch hier zwischen ungefähr zwischen zwei Verläufen etwa genau in der Mitte. When we look exactly in between, in the middle of these two lines, we find that it is, or it is also interesting, Boston, which was also the main teaching center of Harvard professor, who was experimenting with this drug. And the conclusion on this map, there is a line running near Prague, and we had Stan Grove there who worked with this drug. And finally, the Congress itself. They chose the Congress because it was meant to be close to the birthday of Albert Hofmann and it should be on a weekend. We shall begin on a Friday at 9. 8 is too early and 10 is too late, for we have a large program. So when we chose 9 on the dot, and when you can look here, we come to the axis, we met it already twice, and we find again Gemini and Sagittarius. And in the natal chart of Dr. Hofmann, we find the axis of Leo and Aquarius. In his chart, it is the vertical axis. Now, at the Congress, we have it as a horizontal axis, and we find Chiron exactly at the Senden, and it is at the same position as a hundred years ago, at the time of Dr. Hofmann's birth. Interpretations would take up an entire seminar, but I do hope I was able to give guidelines even to those who do not understand much about astrology. Auch denen, die von Astrologie nicht sehr viel verstanden haben. Ja, es war so, dass für It was for us, Terry and I. Albert Hoffman became a mystical figure. Someone who discovers something like this must be mystical. He was no longer Albert. Instead, he became Albrich. Albrecht the king, Albert. The Alban are spiritual beings. They are not only elves, but spiritual beings as the Nibelungen. They possess the gold of wisdom. And Albrecht, the word rich, is an old Indo-Germanic word known as Erex in Latin, meaning king, or like Rix as an asterisk, king, or in Indian, Rach king of the Alban. It is said that the Alban can work so subtly upon matter that even the gods went to them. The Alban, that sogar the Götter hingegangen sind. Freya had ihr schönes Geschmeide von haben nur Alben machen können so ein. Freya had her beautiful jewelry forged there because such beauty could only be created by Alban. And when the gods wanted unconquerable weapons, only the Alban can create such a weapon. The Alban can create flying vehicles and all kinds of things. And when they're forced, Alban can be forced, which is part of the Siegfried saga. The Albrich were forced and they cursed the wonderful sword so that it would break in exactly the decisive moment. And this is actually our technology, a forcing of the beings which our ancestors recognized as Alban. Ein Zwingen der Wesenheiten, die unsere Vorfahren als Alben erkannt haben. Übrigens, die Alpen 
By the way, the Alps are also named thereafter. They are mighty beings, the Alps. And Alberich was thus the king of the light elves for us, magical, knowing, and adept. But it is also said, the one who leads the Alben can join a trip beyond space and time. We are taking LSD or other consciousness-altering substances. We apply methods and see what happens and where are we arriving. This to me is the greatest gift from Albert Hoffmann. He gave us the only drug the only consciousness-expanding substance which originated in the Christian Occidental culture. All other substances originate from other cultures. And if we go on such a journey, we actually go with LSD on a Christian Occidental journey. Humans have long considered psychoactive plants um, as teachers that enhance healing, thinking, and perception. But many contemporary societies outlaw these plants. True, uh, working with psychoactive plants can be tricky. They have a shadow side. They take time to get to know, and approaching them casually is not appropriate, but many indigenous people say that nature speaks to humans through these plants, and that entertaining such a dialogue, which is the job of shamans, is a necessary part of keeping the human community healthy. But many Europeans and North Americans fear using shamanic plants and psychoactive substances. This is due to history and lack of knowledge. The desire to periodically change consciousness is a ubiquitive, instinctive human trait. The prehistoric artists at Lascaux were free to modify their consciousnesses and perceive hybrid beings in their visions. Amazonian Indians are free to drink ayahuasca, but as Graham Hancock has pointed out, we who think of ourselves as free in the advanced democracies and who propose our societies as models to follow are not even free to exercise sovereignty over our own minds. Obwohl die Legalisierungsdiskussion, die übrigens, das möchte ich gerade auch even though the discussions on legalization, which I'd also like to tell those of you from the States, the discussions were never so intensively and competently led anywhere in Europe as they are here in Switzerland. Although this discussion goes back more than 10 years, I, in accordance with many experts worldwide, still support the legalization scenario worked out back then. And I am still convinced that the global war on drugs creates extensively more damage than the drug misuse itself. Politics cannot often distinguish the essential from the unessential, and it is losing itself in daily actualities. The single politician only has a very limited knowledge. One must face this. When you sit here for such an occasion, one can assume that you know something about the questions we're discussing here. You can't even imagine how little politicians know about these topics at present. Often they do not know even the slightest idea or overview, for example alone about the juristic regulations of these substances. This is not even known. So it is not only among the average day politicians, but also the politicians higher up. LSD is a politically pharmacon. LSD is a politically active pharmacon as well, and we can probably just say that it is the only pharmaceutical product that has had a true political impact.
The whole psychedelic movement, turn on, tune in, drop out, was supported by the idea that social and political changes need to happen from within. Peter Stafford, a writer of the American 60s, concludes in an essay that psychedelic drugs have a social purpose of the utmost importance and in the long run they will fully transform the present political realities. Later on, he says, the psychedelic revolution will have influences which already exceed our power of imagination. It is always difficult to say what would have happened without LSD. I mean, so much simply ripened in this time. The Black Panther movement, for example, Vietnam War and so on. Many things could have probably also happened without LSD. But it was surely very important. And the essential core was that the political left and the psychedelic movement back then united. And LSD strengthened the belief by experience regarding the realization of utopia, meaning the change from within. And realizing that the world could be a totally different one was a great model experience on LSD. My topic is about the use of hallucinogenic and I actually remembered thinking that those not dealing with it appropriately, it will deal with them accordingly. We must learn and be aware of the appropriate usage. And Albert Hoffmann has, like no other, always plead and advocates the careful and proper use of such substances. Mit diesen Substanzen plädiert und sich dafür eingesetzt. For our book, which has just been released for his 100th birthday, we have had lengthy discussions about occurrences in the past and how the superficial use of LSD lead to its illegalization. Wie man, wie es in der Vergangenheit war, wie eben auch der And on the other hand, Günther Arment mentioned it, throughout the course of this event, there may have no existed any other possibility for it, but to become illegal. Because if the effects, which we credit LSD for, are in fact true, it cannot be beneficial for any regime or authority that too many people are using it because people start to think outside of the box of their daily unconsciousness and begin to think for themselves. And nothing is worse for any authority than sovereign thinking individuals.